Okay, Ken, so this is one of your previous swings, and this is one of the swings where you tend to kind of revert to almost like kind of sitting, right? Right. As opposed to having your rear and hips positioned or angled more behind you, which achieves more of a tilt or spine angle, right? And when you do that, you'll be able to then flex your knees a little bit and remain on the balls of your feet. You've kind of positioned yourself more on the heels, and see how your chin's tucked into your neck? Yeah. Even if you try to raise your head up, you would lose sight of the ball due to the lack of balance, right? Okay. What I do like is the club face is squared up, you know, to the behind the ball. Uh, ball position is dead center of your feet. Feet are shoulder wide. You know, feet hips are lined up perpendicular uh, to the target. And that right arm, you know, is something we just talked about. You want to keep that tucked in. That's not bad, right? But if you can keep the shoulders square, just like I've done here, you can almost use a mirror at home, can to practice. If you can see yourself in a mirror, okay, I've got the my arms hang down naturally, shoulders are square by visually seeing the left forearm in front of the right, just like you, yeah, just like you can see with me here. Okay. If all you see is your right arm, then obviously You're the shoulders exactly are too far open. Let's go outside. You in. got it. So good alignment and good balance, and just giving yourself space because. You know, if you tilted forward more now, right, but didn't move away from the ball, you're going to be real crowded. Right. See, you know what I mean? So you'd have to step back so you got extension. So these are little things I'd like you to work on. These are huge keys. That's more important than beating balls of the range, is getting these positions to become second nature. But we're going to watch you swing from the positions you're in right now. So what you do is you do a good job of taking the club back from the ball with your arms and hands, setting your wrists early, picking the club up and placing it up over your back shoulder and getting it into a pretty good position. But because you're not very balanced, your left knee's going to pop forward, the right leg, leg's going to lock up, and look at the gap or space between your legs. Right. See how quiet my lower body is? That's the only way you can do that and not fall over, right? You have to move your legs apart. Right. So if we had room, that would stay quieter. So here's the, the part that's tough. Now your arms are going to come a little bit outside, yep. and you have to reflex the right knee, clear the left hip, and extend on through. There's a couple swings where you timed it and you had the club come in a little bit more inside, but that's going to vary, obviously. We don't want that. Can't can't you repeat can't repeat that exactly. So those are things that you can work on in the future. You can take it back with your left shoulder and arms with a nice good extension, and the club can drop from the inside and extend out without having to worry about it coming over the top.